We're now on Yuma Perak He Mishnah He. Fifth chapter, fifth Mishnah of Masechet Yuma. Okay, in the last Mishnah we learned, let's go to our, let's go to the videotape. Okay, in the last Mishnah we learned that the Kohen would mix the Dam Hapar and the Dam Haseir. Okay, he would mix them all together, and it actually looks like they had blood, so they were sprinkling small, tiny drops. And the reason they would do this, as we're going to see, is because, let's go back to our Pasuk, I know I'm jumping a lot. The Pasuk now says, this is the golden Mizbeach in the Hechal. He will atone it. He takes the both blood together. And he puts it on the corners of the Mizbeach. He's going to sprinkle on it seven times. He will purify it and sanctify it. Okay, and then what's he going to, okay, and, and he's going to purify and sanctify from the impurity from the Tumah of Bnei Israel. Let's see in the, in the Mishnah. Mishnah says, This is what we just said. He's going to the Mizbeach HaZahab. Okay, he's going to leave i.e. sprinkling blood. He's going to do it in a downward direction. The reason why he does it in a downward direction is because, is because, according to this position, he can't, he can't do it from the bottom up. Some, it was a question whether he does sprinkles up or, or down or up. Because if he does it up, they were afraid that he would, uh, that he would, that he would, um, excuse me, that he would get his clothes dirty, which was a big deal. He wasn't supposed, the blood shouldn't get on the big day lavan. It was big, big day lavan. Mechanu matchio, where does he start from? Mikeren mizrachit tzfoni, from the northeastern corner. Tzfonit ma'aravit, then he goes to the west, the northwest. Ma'aravit dromit, southeast, southwest, excuse me. Dromit mizrachit, and then he would go to the southeast. Let's look at it from above. Let's just look at it from above. Here is the Mizbeach HaZahav. Okay, remember, what's north-south? This is north, this is south. So we're looking from above, that's west, that's east. So he started, let's go back to the Mishnah, he starts in Karen Mizrachit Tzfonit, uh, northeast, northeast, one, northwest, two, southwest, and southeast. Because he wants to finish here, as we'll see in the Mishnah, he wants to finish here. Why? The place where he starts in a korban chatat, that's where he would finish in the mizbeach hapnimi. Let's understand. So the, according to this opinion, he's walking around. Starts here. One, two, three, four. Why? Because let's go back to the normal mizbeach. In the normal mizbeach, remember, when he goes up, he starts in this corner. You always turn right. The coin goes up, and then he starts in this corner. One, and then he walks around. Two, three, four. So the Mishnah says the place that he starts in this corner, that's the, the, the corner he finishes in this corner. And that, that's why he finishes in this corner, the same corner. The, I just remember it, southeast corner. So he starts one, two, three, four. I think I got that right. If I got the directions wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know. Rabbi Eliezer says, no. He wouldn't walk around. It's a really tiny mitzvah. It's only an ama long, an ama long. You can't see me. So therefore, in all of them, he can go up. Other than the one that he's standing in front of, i.e. the southwest corner. Southeast corner, excuse me. Because on that one, he would go push down because he didn't want to, he didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to get his clothes dirty, as we said. Let's go to the videotape. Let's see if we can see it on the actual video itself. We're going to see the Kohen. He's gonna, he's gonna take it. He's standing on the right corner, I guess. So he does it. Remember, he's, saying he's doing down. His finger is down. He can go down because he's not getting his, he not getting his hands. He's not gonna get his clothes dirty. And the last one, hopefully if I'm right, he's gonna do it up. See the difference? One, two, three, four. And now what he's, now he's getting ready for the second part of the, of the avoda on the Mizbeach Hazahab, which we're gonna see in the next Mishnah. Let's, we'll stop here and as always dedicate our learning to the Rebbe and my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.